name is Shana J. Grant and I'm going to be drawing Princess Love Pond. have steps sketched out but I'm gonna draw her companion honey who is this little fairy that looks like a bunny I've just always liked animation and comics in general so growing up I used to watch like a lot of movies I think my first one was Beauty and the Beast so I've just always been drawn to like art and everything but when Sailor Moon hit the US and I was like six years old or so I just fell in love with it and it's always been like my biggest inspiration and what really made me want to do comics and storytelling. It took me a while actually to really draw characters that looked like me because I did grow up so into anime and then like mainstream comics and cartoons there weren't really a lot that had characters that you know were black and grew up like in the inner city and stuff so for my stories i really wanted to showcase that princess love pond stars a regular high school girl named leah and she is unsure what she wants to do with her life because that college is coming up and it's really scary, you know, going from being a kid to suddenly needing to be an adult. And luckily for her, she gets literally hit in the head with this cute magical bunny fairy that says, hey, you can become the envoy of love and save people's hearts. So she goes straight into it. And I really wanted to um, make a story that was really focused about a, a black girl being really cute and feminine but also powerful because I feel like those traits just aren't shown enough in media. I'm inking this now and I really like to use um, brush pens. I think these are zebra brush pens from Japan. It's nice and sturdy, but still flexible enough to like have varied line weights to it. As you'll see soon, my favorite color is pink. And um, you can read Princess Love Pond online at princesslovepond.com. And uh, it's a very pink comic. So <laughs> that's kind of my thing. I love cute things, magical girls, and pink. And I just want everything that I create to kind of emulate that. For Love Pond's design, I like to have a lot of hearts in it. Since her power is so centered around love, like she fights with hearts and kisses and heals people who are going through like emotional distress, whether they're feeling like really insecure or unsure like what to do about their feelings for someone and there is an evil presence called the dark queen that tries to take advantage of that so that she can steal their hearts and eat them and so love pun purifies their hearts and helps them through these emotional battles so that they can move on with their lives feeling a little stronger so I like to think of it as a different take. It's not quite like Sailor Moon, that's more like a, I guess Power Rangers sort of feels like the best way to describe it, which is kind of how magical girl stories have turned into since Sailor Moon became so popular. But um, I wanted something like a little more old school feel. So I wanted people to feel like they can still be strong and powerful just by being empathetic and in tune with how they're feeling. Since then, I've been able to do like a lot more stuff with publishers and everything. I've been in a lot of comic anthologies. 
I've been part of Black Comics Returns, and that was curated by um, John Jagans and Damien Duffy. That was really exciting because I remember being in college and seeing like the first book of it. It was just called Black Comics, and it was amazing because I never saw like a book filled with all black artists drawing like comics and these beautiful characters. And I remember being like, wow, like, I wish I could be part of this one day. It's really crazy. It's really exciting, though. Honestly, like, when I started this comic, I was just like, okay, I'm just going to draw something cute so, like, I can practice and just get back into drawing comics. But a lot of people have just been, like, super, super ecstatic about it. Like, I've had um, two cosplayers, uh, one was in Atlanta during, I think it was Anime Week in Atlanta, and there was another cosplayer at Katsukan down in National Harbor, like in the DC area. And the one in Atlanta, she's so sweet. She actually made um, a plushie out of my mascot character, Honey. And I still have that at home. She gave it to me and it was just like, the most heartwarming experience like I ever had to see someone you know just love something that I created so much that they made something out of it when I was young I always wanted to feel like really cute and powerful and stuff and like you know, I was one of those kids, so I was like, I want to be like the pink ranger, so drawing this is very much like, yeah, this is, this is what I always wanted out there. I'd like to kind of poke a little fun at myself and say that when I'm doing like my digital illustrations, I kind of use the inspiration of like the Sonic Adventure art from back in the day because it had like that nice, slick, shiny feel to it and I like my artwork to look very clean and very shiny and just plump and lush. A lot of the time, like my palette is kind of a bit more like pinks, purples, and yellows and stuff, but I do occasionally break away and do something like a little darker and stuff because I do like dark things too, even though like I still draw it cute. But, um,. Yeah, I just try to keep everything just like really slick. Olaf Pond has like little hearts in her eyes because she is just that full of love. I like making happy stuff. So, it's like my little signature. It's just here are some hearts and here are some stars and sparkles. Because if it looks good, I'm happy. And if I'm happy with it, then I'm pretty sure somebody else out there is going to be happy with it too. I'm trying to be a little daring and just fill this in. And this pen here is a, is a Pentel pen. It's just going to fill her hair in a little. Now this pen is really nice. I've been using it for years because it's a lot more flexible because it has bristles and everything and it's refillable so you don't have to like worry about dipping it into ink and washing it off and everything. I don't use it for inking my lines just because it's a little too flexible and it's very easy to kind of just go crazy with the line weights you can get. So definitely it takes some practicing but um, it's great. When I started to ink my comics, um, traditionally, I used uh, nibs, and those are like pretty cool because they're like this little metal that you have to stick into a nib holder, and then you dip it. You know, it's like those old-fashioned fountain pens, but after a while, it was like, this actually isn't really working for me, you know, so um, like my artwork just wasn't looking how I wanted it to look when I was making like the thin lines that I used with nibs. So eventually I got brave and I started to use brushes to ink with and thicken up my line art and everything just like fell together. Like since 
Um, my characters are so like round and squishy. It kind of makes sense for me to do like a thicker line art. And like even with my digital art, I will make sure that the brush that I'm using on the computer is pretty thick. And I just feel like that gives me like the best effect. It just kind of like pops. I'm actually doing a workshop now for um, kids to teach them how to do graphic novels. I'm working through um, Writopia, which is a really cool organization because they offer kids classes for you know different arts, creative writing and stuff. And recently they're doing um, graphic novels, so I do a class like once a week, and it's really fun and exciting because when I was young, I used to go to a lot of art classes outside of school. One of them was at the Bronx Museum, actually and it was taught by um, Ivan Velez Jr. who actually used to work for um, Milestone and DC and Marvel. So um, I always wanted to kind of do that and give back by teaching, you know, the next generation of cartoonists and artists. So um, I'm really glad that I'm doing that now. And a lot of my kids, they're kind of like worried about making mistakes and stuff and you know kind of try to push them to be like well take that mistake and make it into something exciting because you know you have to play with your art and you never know like what you'll get out of it as someone who does work digitally it's pretty easy for me to just kind of like press undo and just like redo it over but um I guess that's why it's like nice to work traditionally because you can't do that so you just have to like work with what happens and just go with the flow so it's like really relaxing to do things by hand and everything I like to just sign my name really simple Shauna with a heart my name is Shauna de Grant and today I drew Princess Lafon.